Okay, guys, we're back with part two. I just want to say thank you for the support of my recent video, part one. That video literally did insane to the start of the solo series. We start this off with part two. I did go hit up Power Plant because we still didn't have a tier two and we BP'd Tommy, Pistol Bullet, and I think uh, Syringe. And we didn't have no tier two, so we had no guns apart from this Pumpy and a Crossy. But unfortunately, we got clapped at Power Plant by I don't even know how many. A good 3-4 popped up out of nowhere on me and killed me. After this, I know it's a 3x3 three three in my last series. You might be able to see it. Popped up about an hour and a half before this happened. And I went over there to check their base out. And they've literally compounded with an hour and a half. So I thought I'd go over there, see what I could do. I could see large furnaces pumping. And see if I can get any loot out of it. Dude, they got me 6-7. Build straight in. Just one build. Really, but I'm gonna take it. Oh. See, I'm all half in it. I'm, listen, I'm trying to be sneaky. They have 12 large furnaces pumping in each they have 2k metal and like a k frax that's like 24k metal 24k metal water. I need to throw over the rest of this. Frags and stuff. But they say if it doesn't despawn for an hour now, but bro, farm I had wood and wood despawned in like a couple minutes. Even if it despawns, it's lying down no progression, which I need. Three two rows. I think the first batch despawned. Dude, that's fun. jump back in. I mean to be fair I don't really know how long frags for days. Try go back. I'm gonna slap a bag around the base as well. A lot closer. Do something like this. But yeah, I think you ain't you're not able to build out, but you can build in. Okay guys, so after getting two rows of frags from that Zerg, I did farm up for a tier 2, or at least tried to, and I died about three times with a few hundred scrap of me. In the end, I had enough, and there was a clan that lived right next to Launch that was selling a bunch of stuff. So I went over there to talk to him and see if I can give him some information for a tier 2, so I weren't looking for a trade. 
They end up saying yes, and I knew they wanted to know with the Zerg Live K2, the guys that stole two rows of frags, because there's been toxic in chat, and I just knew this clan wanted to raid them. So I went over there, made a fair trade, they gave me some guns and a tier two for literally the price of information. One of the guys did watch my channel as well, so thank you for the support, and uh, thanks for helping us solo out on the server. So he said, where'd you live? I said, like, V12. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna slap a code off my base so you don't know. See, some of you be like, why did you why did you do that? Listen. At the end of the day, you can farm for a tier two, or you can hustle for a tier two. I just hustled. I see any difference, I hustled for the tier two. Ooh. Yeah, I literally all I did was hustle for a tier two. And I'm happy I did. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. Tier 2 like that, boy. There we go. And now we've got 180 scrap. And you know what? We'll just build our way down to garage door. How much we need? 440. Okay. Not too bad. But now, we can craft guns. And we can we can craft metal today. It's, it's 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 good. We're happy now. After getting down a tier two, I did hear a farmer outside, so I went outside to see what I could do. I wanna kill this guy. That's definitely K2. <sighs> Don't know who he is, but yeah. Nothing like the solo going towards K2 is a 14 now. The only guns are. Okay. What are we dealing with here? Oh, wait. That's a Hazzy Knox. So confused. But I'm just leaving. Dude was not. <coughs> Dude, why? Why? I actually don't understand. After securing a few guns, I went back over to K2, the Zerg that lived close to me, to see if I could go deep. I brought a ladder this time, and it just seemed well unorganized. So I thought, you know what, I'll go back there and see what I could do. I could hear a commotion over there, and I actually found the clan that gave me the tier 2, the guys that live next to the launch. They actually stole like, a box of metal from them, I believe. Um, they're doing the same thing I was doing. So I ended up just jumping in. Waiting a long time, I'm not gonna lie, I probably waited about an hour wide to get my opportunity to climb up the shooting floor, but this is what happened. There's so many.
it's all about hiding. Yo, I think I'm gonna actually stay here because I don't have a team UI. Sure okay, but I'm probably just gonna show me down. I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna go farm farm a bit. What do we need? Alright, right, I got you. I'm not gonna go deep again. Boys, I need to change my name to K2 Turpass. Now, after getting inside their base, I knew I had to log off and then change my name to one of their offline members, which was K2 Turpass. I saw him earlier and he was asleep, so I thought I'd just chance it and see if I could ghost this Zerg. After this, I did wait until the doors were opened and see if I could deep this clan. I was in Discord with the guys from launch because they was in their compound trying to steal a bunch of stuff from them as well. So I was just screen sharing whilst I try to go deep. That's the open core here, but there's no loot here. Have a mini. Come on, come on, have a mini. I ain't got a mini. You reckon take the scrappy? Wait, is that low grade in I'm gone. I'm gonna crash this. Boys, we're out. <laughs> Let's go. Second base we've gone deep on. No way. Boys, I don't want to crash this near my base. What should I do with this? this? Base is below me to my left. Wait, it's just that one there. That's it. 
It's too small. After ghosting the 14 man Zerg, I didn't know what to do with Scrappy and I was looking for where I lived and I only lived about two grids away. I was in the call with his clan who gave me a free tier 2. So I said I'd give him the Scrappy and they'll fly me over in the mini in about five minutes just so it looks a little less bait next to my base than parking this Scrappy or crashing next to it. My little solar base. But as you can see, unfortunately, someone was camping their base and killed me. They did jump on their roofs and try to kill the guy, but he literally grabbed the Scrappy and flew off. It is what it is, but it was fun ghosting this Zerg. There were 14 plus members active at the time. And the next day, they basically despawned and they didn't play for the rest of the wipe. So I must have got the best of their loot for this wipe. Okay, I'm going to that. Just want to make sure. Yeah, dude, they're not there. No, too close. After PvP and launch, I went back and this is where I basically lost all my guns and I had a bad death streak towards the end of the night. Jesus Christ. Need the med stick. So after them unfortunate deaths, I had a little break and jumped back onto, uh, yeah, this. Just let me show you. Wait, why is it? Oh. Oh my god. Dude, I need a door. Boys.
I'm gonna have to seal it. I'm gonna have to seal it. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, as we logged on, we were getting offline raided by our neighbours. Lucky enough, we sort of defended. I had no guns because I didn't BP 5-5, so I couldn't even use my SARS to defend. I thought they were going to come back with more C4, but luckily enough, they didn't. I was just telling them in game chat that I had nothing, pulling out the bow, acting like I was broke, and it worked, so they did go away. I ended up still in the base, but I think my time in this area is over, so I had to rebuild. But that'll be for part three. I do hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did at all, give it a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. See ya.